Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi from AndroidAuthority.com. Google I.O. had a lot of announcements, and one of them was the Android O beta. You know where this is going, so let's take a closer look. Okay, so we did a big giant video about the first Android O developer preview, and a lot of that information hasn't changed all that much. The interface, the settings, the under the hood stuff is all pretty much the same. We're not going to reinvent the wheel here, so if you want to see all of that first wave of major changes, check out the first Android O developer preview, which will be linked in the video description below. Okay, first let's start with the visual tweaks because there weren't a whole bunch of those. The first noticeable change is the notification toggles and the quick settings. They're now grayscale instead of the really dark gray like you'd normally see, don't know if that's permanent or not, but it's there. While we're hanging around the area, it's worth noting that the settings menu button, quick settings edit button, profile image, and date and time are now at the bottom of the quick settings and of the toggles. It's a minor thing, but it'll take you a few minutes to get used to it. Lastly, Google updated the emoji in Android O. These are far more animated and 3D-esque than they were before. Whether or not you like them is purely up to your personal taste. However, they do fall more in line with the kind of stuff you see on Facebook Messenger and iOS. There were several new features with the Android O beta release. The biggest one is the picture-in-picture -picture mode, which is now available to everybody. For now, YouTube is the only one that can use it. You start the video, hit the home button or the recent apps button, and you have a tiny little screen to watch on your phone. There is an additional setting in the system UI tuner that lets you kind of minimize it by tucking it away partially off the screen. You'll need to enable that manually, at least for now, and it's in the system UI tuner. Those rocking a Google Pixel have a few more fun things to try out. The biggest one was an announcement at Google I.O. today called Notification Dots. It lets you long press an icon and then check a notification. It's probably not faster than using Quick Reply, but it's there. Additionally, the Pixel Launcher now lets you select your icon shapes. As you can imagine, this isn't available on the Nexus 6P or the Nexus 5X. Another small tweak is the ability to adjust the intensity of the night light feature. It's just a little slider that filters out more blue light the higher you go. It's good for what it is, and again, it's only available on Pixel devices. Lastly, Google Play Protect is another feature announced today at Google I.O. It is built directly into the Android O beta preview. You can't really do anything with it, but you can see the evidence of its existence all over the settings menu. It'll tell you which apps were recently scanned, and you can turn it off if you want to. Although, we really can't imagine why you would. There were a few features that got some more explanation today at Google I.O., but were not in the actual beta. Smart text selection was probably the biggest one. In future releases of Android O, you'll be able to double tap things like names, addresses, and phone numbers in order to select the entire thing. From there, it's really easy to copy and paste, and there will be some contextual options like opening maps if you select an address. It may be there, but we couldn't get it to work. Really, that's about it for stuff not in the beta. A lot of stuff from the previous developer build still isn't present yet, and we encourage you to watch that first developer preview video, again, linked in the video description below, to check all of those out. There were plenty of under-the-hood things announced today at Google I.O. The first is a new developer dashboard in the Play Store that more accurately shows when apps crash, when they consume too much battery, and when they screw up in general. We really hope Facebook is paying attention because their dashboard has to look like whatever the opposite of Christmas is right now. Most of the other announcements were focused on app development. TensorFlow Lite will allow developers to play with machine learning a little bit easier. There were more talks about how developers can add their own font packs to their applications as well. There was a second talk after the keynote that talked a lot about the new APIs that help with things like multi-display support, new media playback code, new media recording code, text auto-sizing improvements, new accessibility options, and far too many more to list here. App developers are going to have a lot to play with very soon. Finally, they announced during the keynote that Android O was going to have tons of optimizations to reduce resource usage by background applications, location pinging, and some optimizations that will even help applications load up to twice as quickly and reboots to take about half as long. They dubbed the initiative Vitals, and it should come with the Android O beta. Again, there's a bunch of other stuff that we didn't mention here that was in our first video, and we encourage you to check out that video. Okay, folks, that about does it for this one. It's a shorter video than the previous one, but most of the big changes are things that we've discussed before. The beta is by far more stable than the first developer preview. However, it is not entirely bug-free. You can flash it if you want to, but just beware that it is a beta and sometimes acts like one. As for the name, well, they had a ton of Oreos at Google I.O. today. Whether that's an indication or just Google trolling us remains to be seen. If you're a bit disappointed that there isn't more here, don't you worry, the next developer preview is only a couple of months away. According to a roadmap, published by Ars Technica, it should have all of the APIs loaded in and it should be all but complete as we run up to the final release. 
Until then, stay tuned to AndroidAuthority.com. We're rapidly expanding our Diving Into Android O series and we'll no doubt have some additional videos to talk about more of the features. Our Diving Into Android O series is also linked up in the video description below if you want to check it out. And that about does it for this one, folks. I know I sound like a broken record by now, but do check out our video on the first developer preview to see more Android O features. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority and ring the bell to get the latest Android coverage. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.